Well, it's glorious, isn't it, Nanning? So much energy, so much power surging through it, lights everywhere, just a, an abundance of energy and activity, even through the night. Just never seems to stop. Boats, cars, bikes, electric motorbikes these days, all so quiet, you don't know when they're easing up on you. That's what's happening in here, though. Look at the order of play. Japanese halted in their tracks momentarily by Pon Pawi Chochiwon. An incredible turnaround. She was out of it in the opening game, lost at 9.21, but then such a surge back to win the last two games and extend her head to head to 3 1 over Akane Yamaguchi. So we're live, we're, we're, we're one all, absolute deadlock in the overall tie score. And we turn our attention now to men's singles. It's the undisputed world number one, Kento Momota, taking on Sitikom Thamasin from Thailand. Our players are walking on. Led out by the umpire and the service judge. And there, our first glimpse of King Momota, his first showing here on the uh, match courts. He looks pretty relaxed, doesn't he? And suddenly, when we thought Akane Yamaguchi was reassuring, this man really is. She was the former world number one, world number four, but Kento is the current world number one. And he's up against the young Thai in yellow. Here he is, Sitikom Tamasin, 25 in the world. And this one is going to be very interesting. He's off his career high. He won the Akita Masters in 2018. Three semi final showings. Back to back the Macau Open, Sayed Modi, international, and the Korean Masters as well, plus 11 round of 16 showings. So he's a young man who's on the up. Here he is, ever gracious. Momota had a win That's how in the it Junior goes. Mixed Team Championships, but that Black was a long time or red. ago. Red. Red. Black for you. Good court. Service. So just uh, about to begin the warm-up, I can tell you I'm delighted to be joined by Gronje Somerville. Good to have you along, Gronje, from Australia. Three wins for you so far in this tournament. How did you go today against Ireland? Um, I was able to win my match, but unfortunately our team went down 3-2 to Ireland. Oh, boo. Shame. Yeah, very Shame. happy to be here today. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, no, it was good fun. Good, good having you along. I'm sure this will be a good match. Yeah, definitely. Nice place to start for you, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, the world number one to watch. Yeah. So good to have you along. So Kenta Momota warming up. What a great year it's been. The big gun from Japan. He's won nine titles this season. The reigning world champion. Asian champion as well. There's not a lot he hasn't achieved, but turning our attention to Mr. Thamasin, just 24 years of age, 25 years old. Born and bred in Bangkok, off that career high ranking. He's had a pretty good year. As I said, three semi finals, won the Akita Masters. And uh, what an opportunity for him. It was seven years ago when they met. And, well, the progress of Kento Momota has been stratospheric, hasn't it? He's just gone up so fast. So I'm curious as to what he brings and how much sort of he will test this man who tends to just romp away from people pretty quickly. There he is, born in Kagawa, Japan, off that career high ranking. He's almost sort of whistling as he's warming up, isn't he? He looks completely relaxed. There's a lot of self-trust in his game, isn't there? Yeah, he's a very confident player. And yeah, so he should be as well, number one. Yeah, there's a lot of sort of champion swagger as well yeah. about him. He's got a real stage presence, this young Japanese. Just to run through some of the titles that he has won the Indonesian Open, Japan Open, Denmark Open, Fuzhou China Open, German Open, All England Open, Singapore Open, Asian champion as well. Three times a runner up, Victor, China Open. World Tour Grand Finals. He's done it all. And there's our umpire, the Latvian, Mr. Luzveris. I'm familiar with his face. And opposite him, the service judge from India, Ajenja Rai. They've been busy today. They're out first match as well. 
That was relatively short, the men's doubles that uh, Kamira and Sonoda won. So we have deadlock in the overall contest. And this is our third match upcoming. And uh, Indonesia, incidentally, taking on Denmark on the other court. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Thailand represented by Sitikong Kamasin. And on my left, Japan represented by Kenta Mamota. Japan to serve. Love all. Play. Men singles, Kenta Mamota against Sitikom Kamasin. Serves over. One love. It's be tough to relax, Gronje, when you're out there on centre stage with that media spotlight burning down so Mind bright judge. and you haven't even played a match out here. Kenton Mind must judge. be perhaps a little tired. Doesn't show it, though, does he? I'm sure he's well used to it by now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, of course. Maybe even feeds off it in a way. Yes, yes, absolutely. I'm sure he responds. Are you like that? Are you made up that way as well? You enjoy the spotlight? Um, I guess it just kind of, you know, makes you step up and you kind of feel the the One I guess, aura one. and everything in the air and you just know that it's a big game and you kind of need to bring it. Sharp lines of attack, the precision is there, as we've seen so often on our one. TV screens oh. over the years from the Japanese. So you are undefeated, that's right, isn't it? Four from four, am I right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well done. Let's be feeling good about that. Yeah. Serves over. Two, one. A lot of passionate support back of house here, just courtside. Inflatable clappers going crazy every time each team wins a point. Nozomi Okahara has even got the big sort of Tannoy out as well. She's <laughs> booming it around. Yeah, both teams always have some good cheers and support coming from the crowd. Three, one. What do you think he'll be feeling right now? The Thai player, a little anxious, perhaps wants to get off to a bit of a flyer against Momota. Otherwise, he doesn't. He wants to avoid the route scene, doesn't he? Yeah, he definitely feel like he has to bring something special to. Three, one. Um, bring something against Momoda to try and get close to beating him here today. Oh. Surging forwards incessantly there. A little bit Four, of a stare down afterwards one. as well. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Trying to impose himself. Well said. Great start, isn't it? Sparkling from him. How long would it last? The question on everyone's lips. Mm. And a little luck there as well. Five, one. Kento looks pretty unruffled and unfazed. He's seen it all, hasn't he? He must have been in these kind of situations endless times. Yeah, definitely. Right. In putting Serves up good over. resistance there, but not quite enough. He's got a sort of nonchalant, very relaxed look about him, hasn't he, Kento Momotum? He really backs Five. himself, a lot of self-trust, of course there is. His physicality quite imposing, the way he swaggers around. There's a majesty about the way that this man moves on court. Just glides around effortlessly. Oh. Talking of effortless, that was very deceptive. Yeah. Over. Six, two. 
must be delighted. Feeling really good about himself out here right now. Thamesin, it's a fine start. Four point lead against the world number one, no less. Still early doors, though. Gronje, how are the conditions out there? We've been sort of earing on the side of pretty much perfect for players. There's not a lot of drift, is there? No, not much drift at all. Um, the shuttles have been fast for most games, and then they would fluff up quite quickly and become slow. But aside from that, it's pretty comfortable and, yeah, nice to play in. And would you speed it at what, sort of slow, slow to medium or medium or On court, please. fast? Um, yeah, the shuttles are pretty fast right. to begin with, okay. yeah. But being a big haul, I'm told, generally it's sort Three, of quite six. slow with, with, with that sort of big haul situation, but the, but the shuttles are quick, right? Yeah, yeah. Play. Okay, gives us a nice sense of perspective. Sounds over. Super steep angle here. Seven, three. Oh, the double deception in that rally from Thamesin was incredible. Spellbinding point from him. Eight, three. Longest rally of the match, 29 shots. Wasn't that precise? Yeah, he's getting some great height on his jump smashes. That's really hurting my motor so far. Eight, three. Five point cushion. Who'd have thought this? He's at it again. There's a spring in his step. He's really enjoying his time out here, isn't he? Jogging around, Nine, three. strutting his stuff. How long will it last? Yeah, Momoto kind of just waits for these guys to get a bit tired and then he'll just yeah. step it up a level. Time's over. Four, nine. Just missed there, but he thinks he and might have challenges. found Hold the line. Out. So we're going upstairs for the first time in the match. After seven minutes played, is this going to become a six-point buffer for Thamassin of Thailand? So, slight concern for the superpower here, the top seeds badminton. He has missed. She wondered whether that was sort of spurned challenge out of desperation and he just wanted to step off stage. One mm. challenge remaining. I think being his first time on court, this tournament is still getting used to the hall a bit. 10 4. Play. Injection That's of that. The motor's really trying to pressure him around the body, Five, driving ten. stuff through the middle and towards his body. Brilliant. That was buckling, wasn't it? Right to the pocket. Elegantly dispatched from Momota. Six, 
Bonya, why is he driving so much through the middle? Is that just to sort of take time and space away from his opponent and ruffle him a little? Or? I don't know. Maybe he has analysed him and he kind of sees the body as a weakness of his opponent. Or, I mean, hitting stuff to the middle generally cuts off the angles coming back. So that could be another tactic. Misjudgment there. Amazon challenges called out. Another challenge. Beating heart, denoting that the cogs are turning upstairs. He's acquitting himself well out here, isn't he? Mm. Looking pretty relaxed. I like the on court demeanor. He's, he's chill. Correction in. Over 11, well, there we are then. The correction on the line call means that the tie, Thamasin, has a five point cushion at the turn here. Score two, 20 seconds, score two, 20 seconds. So bouncing around, knows he needs to up the ante. And it's about now it's got to start. The tie with a five point buffer. There's some sort of bug on the court by the looks of it. Just kill it, says the umpire. <laughs> Mercenary. I think Citycom definitely looked a little bit more out of breath than Momoto at that interval, so it'll be. Interesting how these next 11 points go. If 11, Momoto six. will step it up Wait. and if Citicom can stick with him. Hold! We touched the net. 12, 6. Oh, just too much chili on the cross smash there to get it done. Sensational from Fanassin. 45 shots. Yeah, third time lucky with that steep smash. Japan have been wounded already with one blow to the Japanese machine, courtesy of Jochiwong. What about Fanassin? Surely not a second. I mean, I know it's early, early doors here. And, you know. You eloquently just said, which was I found really fascinating, that Momoto's backing 13, himself physically. Six. He's going for the, you know, the long turnaround here possibly. But uh, it, I think that's right. I think it's the, the question on everyone's lips now is, is what about the physicality of Thomasin? Can he last? As you, as you inferred, yeah. it's going to be fascinating. Gone. Serves over. Seven thirteen.
now. Perhaps, Gronje, signs of fatigue from Thomas in a couple of errors. Yeah, that's definitely the thing. Once Momoda is finding the court and his game and everything, Sidicom will just have to keep his errors low because Momoda's not going to let many come into his game at all. He's pretty intact most of the time, isn't he? And now you sense he's perhaps starting to settle into the conditions a little bit more. Well, three unforced errors in a row. Would you call them that? The last one, definitely. You can't really afford to do that against world number one. for Japan at three. Thomason. redlining of the smash looking upwards as if to say it was the bright lights that put me off and this is not nice stand 14 might pay a heavy price for that one in the driving seat of that rally how do you prepare about against the world number one the night before? You pass the loading, are you massively hydrating? I don't know. What would you do? I think the night before there's not that much you can do to change your preparation. I mean analysis always helps and being familiar with the 15, opponent's game, 10. that kind of thing. But physically I think you do gotta rely you on your training and yeah. your coaches and that kind of thing. Yeah, well said. Really backing yourself. All the hard work's done months ahead, isn't it? Yeah. But this is a real privilege for Thamerson, and he's uh, taken advantage of exactly that. What happened there? Did he slip? Or lose it altogether? Looked like a combination. 16, 10. Swing and a miss from the world number one. He is human after all. Yeah. Don't put the blame on me. 10. Handling his match really well for Masson. Stinger on the back of the leg. Oh, sorry. Time's over. <laughs> it's a match played in good spirits. Yeah. 11, 16. Short lift away, got what it deserved. 17, 11. And commendably, he's staying really intact, Thomasin. Yeah, he's controlling the net really well, which is allowing him to make good use of his strong attack, which is being super effective so far. Eighteen minutes to have elapsed. Mota 
Still five points adrift. Well, there's a palpable upping of the intensity of movement there from the blur in red 17, from Japan. 17. Now, is this where he really switches gear? Yeah, it was Momoda taking that net shot high that really changed that rally. So I think if the challenge for the net, get if Momoda steps up at the net, then it could become a lot more even. Characteristically, unable to get a second consecutive run of three 18, points going in 13. this opening game. Kento Momoto is not entirely comfortable out here, is he? Mm. And you twin that with the fact that his opponent's playing pretty watertight, and you've got a bit of a lopsided scoreline here. World number one under siege, and there's a glint of an upset in those eyes of the tie. about it. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, wasn't it? Sam's over. Super accurate. 19-14. Really caught my motor off guard there. Still keeping the buffer here to five points. He's got plenty of wriggle room. Wonderful. Engineering that beautifully. Spreading the attack nicely. 15-19. Well, there's no doubting he can twist this. He's done so, so many occasions. It's always nice to watch, isn't it? Yeah, and that last point, he definitely stepped up, playing some more net shots and then coming up Thank you. fast for the attack at the back, which is what Citicom's been doing so far. So, 15, we'll what happens next. Yeah, I wonder if there's any more surprises up the sleeve for the Thai player here. For the point, maybe those lungs were exploding. Mm, I'm lucky there. 19. Struck it well, just wide of its mark. Perhaps imbued with a little bit of panic because you need quite a lot of wriggle room, I'd imagine, against a man like Momota who's always nibbling at you. Yeah, three point gap isn't that comfortable now. 16 19. of slight 19. panic in the game of Famasin right now, who's looking around a little concerned. Now he needs a cheap point here. Poison control from the world number one, quite outstanding. Really 18, orchestrating 19. a lot of pressure onto Thomasin. Nine 
1914 becomes 1918. Four in a row for the world number one. Play. He's got several ways to pick a lock. with the smash. 19, oh. Both players have such strong attack that the, the battle for the net and whoever can get supremacy over the net is who's going to control the game right now. Japanese fans will be delighting in what they're seeing on the scoreboard right now. A run of five, Kento Momota. Oh, he panicked and s squirted it wide of the 20, single sideline did Thomasin. A half dozen points in a row then for Kento Momota who somehow Play. swiveled this opening game on its axis and brought himself a couple of game point opportunity here. It's missed, and Kenta Momota will breathe a massive sigh of relief under a wry smile. He's, uh, he's won the opening game, 21 points to 19, 25 minutes played. Got out of jail there really well. It's going to be interesting to see how this Thai athlete responds to what just happened. He was 19-14 up and uh, you know, got a little bit tight. Momota raised the bar as well. 25 minutes played into the second game here of this men's singles. Well, 
he'll take great pride on the motor in what just happened at the back end of the opener. He's definitely looking a lot more comfortable on court now. So there's a chance he could run away with this in this second set here. What is it about a lefty? It just looks so graceful, doesn't it? It just makes it look so easy. But I guess it's the consequence of just punishing yourself physically on a, on a regular basis to get that strong and in condition that he can withstand really extreme situations on a regular basis. But it, it does look so easy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just that constant pushing yourself and overloading your body and hoping it can take it and not break down mm. to get the results. Like it's, this. It's been a fine blend as well in terms of how hard you push and that sort of you know, sort of practice and, and match scheduling, how professional they are in terms of regulating and managing his body in that regard. Always an interesting topic, perhaps not now. But. Oh, that was super. Great shot. Time's over. Just needs 20 more of those. One, <laughs> That's all two. the year was set. <laughs> That's the tough thing, isn't it? You've got to play kind of lights out, haven't you, to really contest against this man. Mm. And that's the point where the errors come in when you're just getting a little bit desperate for the winners, yeah. as we saw in the last set. And to be fair to Thamasin as well, he's probably quite buoyed by what happened in, with Chochewong in the match prior. You know, that would have really motivated what? him. And would you as a player not be hanging around watching the back end of the match prior? You'd be stretching out with you and doing your own thing, or would you be watching? Um, in a match like that, when it's so close in the third, you're probably already in the marshalling area watching it on the screen or something like that. But you'd definitely be warming up prior to that. And then re-warming up when it goes to three sets. Yeah. <laughs> Going upstairs again. Hawkeye will conclude the outcome of this point. Well, he should take a lot of positives from what happened in that opener. It's going to be interesting to see if he can flush away the result from his mind and rebuild, really, after all challenge of this good work. Yeah, he definitely shows he's up there with Mo remaining. Momoda right now. But now he just has to adjust to how Momoda's Four, leveled one. up and he's taking and then a lot Boy. earlier and using more of his attack and just hopefully adapt to that and stick in it. Real pomp and audacity that rally, didn't it? His arm, his racket aloft at the end of it. Show off. Thomas and Sean in the center. He's definitely starting to get more of a showman feel about him and Moda with all the titles and Thank you. celebrity growing around him. Thank you. Which is good because it's entertaining. It's great, isn't <laughs> and it? That's what people want to see. Yeah, I think so, yeah. You know, people sort of dis Sukumulio a little, don't they, with his sort of swings and misses and all of that Thomas sort of stuff. But I'm a big fan, really. I think it, you know, fans love it. Yeah. I think it's, it's a bit of a love hate thing with yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well said. It's a, I was going to say it's a Marmite, but is it, is it a Vegemite? Five, <laughs> one. Hey, Vegemite's better than Marmite, okay? <laughs> Why is Marmite too salty to you? What is Just it Vegemite's Australian. <laughs> Stop it. Back to the match.
Oh, he's left that, and it's in. Seven's over. Two, five. I don't mean to do him a disservice, but somehow with what we've seen over the last sort of 10, 15 minutes, there seems a sort of, not an air of resignation, because that's not fair, and that's, that is doing him an injustice. But, you know, shots like that now, he now, Seven's Momota, over. is playing like the King Momota, and, Six, and, and he's a lot more two. expansive and free-flowing, as, as, as we've sort of discussed, isn't he now? He's, he's finding a different gear, he's relaxing into his A game. What does the Thai player have to do to, I mean, I know it's a million dollar question, but to stick with Momota? I think it's a really, like that battle of the net for supremacy and to be able to take advantage of his great attack, he has to just get that net high and get some of the lifts as opposed to giving those lifts to Momota. And of course, you know, trying to keep the errors at bay. Trying to get high there, didn't he? Eight, yeah, missed opportunity. Two. And he's puffing and blowing a little as well, looking a little forlorn. Somehow, Momota looking fresher. Pressure really building now on the Thai shoulders. Yep, Amoda starting to run away with this, literally. Too greedy. Now important Tamasin. here Tamasin. for Tamasin to stay in touch with Momota. If he really wants to go deep. Four, nine. Boy. Well, he's a tough character to get off balance. We know all about that. Kenta Momota races to an 11-4 lead at the turn in game two after 39 minutes played. Yeah, he can't really afford to play like this anymore. He's got to up the speed. Yeah, absolutely. Very much so. Go to 20 seconds! Go to 20 seconds! 
จะเปิดด้านนี้เยอะทำเกมด้านนี้เยอะเจอเจอเจอเจอคนในการเล่นหน่อยทามาซินออมคอร์ดพลีสทามาซินออมคอร์ดพลีส11 4อาลีตามาพลีส Complete change of complexion to this time in the opening game. That's the speed that he's playing with right there to have a chance in the set. Yeah, it's a tough ask, isn't it, physically, Gronya? Yeah, especially against the ever-lasting Japanese. Mm. I'll tell you what's miraculous. What to me after this? That's very tight. Yeah. Well, understandably, the Thai athlete wants this checked. He senses he's seen space. It was very tight. Though we're looking down that line, I think we both agree it was it was pretty tight. Now, what what I was getting to was Momota, 25 wins, only three losses this year, nine titles to his name. It must be so difficult when you're playing that volume of match play to keep that high level of. Of, of game up and fitness, you know, because there's no, not much room for training block or anything like that, is there? Yeah, that's definitely one of the hardest things is maintaining your training while you're kind of competing. And of, the edge. and of course, when you're Momoto and you're making the finals of pretty much every tournament, it's just back to back to back, whereas some of the other players, you know, they'll get a few days rest or a few days to prepare and train leading into the next one. But for him, it's just... Endless wins, which I mean, you can't complain about. Mm. And I guess it's just about uh, you know a decent sort of 13, maintenance five. program that he's totally in tune with and and, and, uh, uh, and happy to do. Probably a little bit of what light resistance, you know, band work and stuff like that. You know, given that his volume of matches is so great, I, I don't know. You you tell me. You you know more than I would. Uh, well, I guess I wish we all knew what more to do. We probably emulate that, right? <laughs> Yeah, definitely just more maintenance sessions as opposed to trying to get improvements. Oh, there's a wince and a grimace after that. And it turned into a smile of frustration. He knew he was in the driving seat there. Just spilt it wide. Yeah, you're not going to get any massive strength gains, are you, from the odd sort of strength and conditioning session? You know what I mean? It, yeah. And certainly on the day off here, I, I doubt it would have been a, a voluminous physical situation. And at his level, it's a lot of fine tuning and, you know, figuring out what works best and what doesn't work. And then, of course, just a lot of injury maintenance and making sure you stay on top of any niggles, that kind of thing. Don't stop it. We want to see more of that. Of course we do. But that, you just don't tire of that, do you? <laughs> That's a swagger to it. Look at his reaction. <laughs> oh, look at me. No chance. <laughs> 14, 6. He's definitely controlling this game. Yeah. He's a lot, moving a lot faster, taking everything a lot earlier, and able to enforce his attack from the backcourt. 15, 6. And you feel for Thamerson now because you sense it's a bit of a thankless task ahead. Over. 
great save here. Well, Famerson, credit to him, he's certainly given his all. Thank you. Against, uh, Thank you. This man at the pinnacle of the men's singles game. It's just so hard to nudge off balance. Seven, so poised 15. around everything that he does. Seems to have time on shuttle. That makes the difficult look Leon. routine. Approaching uh, 45 minutes played then in this match. Seventeen seven. Scoreboard reeling away now in the world number one's favour. He's kind of being a little creative and imaginative, Momota, and sort of preparation for sterner tests that lie in wait. Yeah, he des definitely Eight, has a 17. decent buffer right here to try some different things. Yeah. Over. Well, the changes of pace, Eight, mesmerizing. Eight. Bringing that body attack back into the game as well. Brilliant play from Thomasin. Yeah, that's the kind of aggression and speed he needs to bring to, to compete right now. Is it too little, too late? Stunning point. Spreading the court really well. It's a big ask. And in situations like this, it is easy to kind of just let the match go. But when you're here with Thank your you. whole team behind you, your whole country Thank watching, you. you just got to keep fighting it out. Absolutely. I guess it's a different dynamic, isn't it? You feel that pressure in that regard, do you? Nine, eight, and the tie are so enthusiastic with cheering. Eight. And they've had some awesome upsets in team events and stuff like that. Hold on. Yeah. Nicely done. 10, 18. It's Casino Badminton, but it's working at the moment. Zing on that, wasn't that? Serves over. Motor just creeping up on the net in that really, just trying to get on top. Thank you. And making use of those um, smashes to the body, it really Thomas makes like steep attack and those cut shots to the side even more effective and keep. Um, City come guessing. Nineteen ten. Closing in, in on victory. Now you sense the world number one. Having got out of jail so admirably from nineteen fourteen down in game one. Twenty match point ten. And the moment of truth for Kento Momota. Ten match points. There it is. He 
gets there in the end then. Salutes his fans and his camp. Inside 50 minutes it took him. He was staring down the barrel earlier. 14-19 down in game one. But dug deep as we've seen so often. And he's utterly relieved to come through. And really did Match start playing some showcase Japan. badminton towards the back 21, end. 19, 21, and fiving 10. his coaches. He comes through. 21-19, 21-10. Kenta Momota giving Japan a 2-1 lead in the tie over Thailand. Confirmation of the score then. 49-minute match. Kenta Momota, the world number one, coming through with flying colours.